What's up guys, Aronius here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, we will be pulling some shards on Pirate's account. Yes, Pirate's back at it again, popping his shards, let's do this. So we're just going to go right into it. He already has space made. He just wants me to pull three Sacreds, one Primal, and Ancients one by one in hopes to get a Legendary. So let's do this. Let's start with the Primal Shard. Why not? Let's do it. He really wants Nergigante, Archer. Everybody wants her. She's insane. Of course we didn't get her we got a epic sachi they changed up this epics skin because apparently it had too much jiggle physics anyways on to the next one sacred shard number one here we go let's get the archer here let's get the archer one epic okay keep it going come on archer another epic uh, it's not looking so great last one come on Ah, darn, okay. Jotun. He's actually pretty good for the Cursed City now with the HP burn on his ability. So we're going to do one by one here. Let's see what we can get. Uh, rare, to be expected. So he is actually at 194 Ancients pulled before his Mercy. So this will be 196. 197. Will we get... A legendary out of these. An epic. Okay. Mordecai. Okay. We're getting there. Come on. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Started at 18. This is going to be the fifth pop. So he's now at 199. 200. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're going to go all the way to 220 Ancients for his account. That's not fun at all. Gallic, the starter champion. How many of you actually pick Gallic? I'm wondering. I personally never would pick Gallic. That's just me. I would go with Kale all day, every day. I first started out, and on all my accounts, I pick Kale. All right, let's do it. Come on. Give him a legendary. Just one, please. For the video. Come on. Another epic. Quad Beast Feeder from the 25X. See, yeah, the 25X progressive chance actually works really well for epics. Not so much for legendaries, though, because the chances of you pulling multiple legendaries is so slim. Unless you have hundreds and hundreds of shards to pull. It looks like he's going to end up going... Oh, never mind. Ah. Oh. You're joking. Shamrock? I mean, he's definitely better than he used to be, I guess. He's decent for Hydra. Accuracy in all battles is not bad. Uh, decreased speed debuff on all enemies for two turns and decreased turn meter. Fills turn meter of all allies by 15% of it. Any enemy's turn meter is below 50%. I mean, it's, it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. And he removes buffs as well. Increased defense, increased speed on all allies with more than 50% HP for two turns. 50% chance of placing an increased crit rate on those allies for two turns. Place a revive on death buff on all allies with less than 50% HP. And the revive on death can't be stolen by Hydra Head, so that's pretty cool. Also has a 50% chance of placing a 50% continuous heal on those allies. So he's actually pretty decent. He's good for Hydra. I would say he could probably be utilized in a brutal team if he's doing the decreased speed and increased defense, you know, increased speed on your team. Increased accuracy is nice for the lead if you need it. So, yeah, he's actually not a terrible champion, but uh, it is what it is. We didn't get Nergigante. We got Claude Beast Feeder, but he was definitely looking for Nergigante. Anyways, that's going to be a super quick video for me today, guys. Good luck on your pulls if you are pulling for the Archer. And yeah, we'll see you on a video soon. Take care.